Hi, right, so I'm Paul from pdhsports.com, leading online racket specialist, and today I've been given an amazing opportunity by Dunlop to interview Ali Frag and Victor Cruan. So, um, both Dunlop players, obviously, um, and one of the things we're going to talk about is, because you're using the Revelation Pro and the Revelation Pro Lite. Yeah. Um, do you want to just uh, maybe argue it out, which one's better <laughs> and why? <laughs> well, first of all, it's great to be with you. And uh, obviously, both rackets are great. But for me, I've always liked, uh, liked to play with heavy, with heavy uh, rackets, especially at the head. So this one serves me perfectly, uh, perfectly well because I've always played with with a heavy racket and you know with it gives me the right balance between power and control and especially when in tight spaces you know I like to flake the ball and this definitely helps me helps me do that. Yeah to me to me it feels like his racket is unplayable. It's, <laughs> it's too heavy and whenever I see a junior playing with it I'm like how can you do it? Uh, but this one's actually the the perfect balance for me between uh, I used to play with a Noah's racket, yeah. and it was oh, uh, it got too too light at some point in, in my junior career. So I had mm -hmm. to change. I was looking for for a heavier racket, and mm -hmm. this one was just uh, the perfect yeah. balance. Yeah. So obviously, so I, I would say like Ali's slightly and uh, unusual in terms of most of the rackets now seem to be more head light. Right. Um, so you're saying from a from a technical point of view, mm -hmm. you find it more easier to with a head heavy balance. Hundred percent. I feel like I have a lot more control with 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 this with this head heavy racket, you know, because sometimes I feel like when I'm hitting the ball through, I feel like the air is is pushing me back if it's headlights, you know. So I I like it head heavy, and as I said, you know, with with flicking the ball and with with the quite, it's it's counter it's counterintuitive, but you know, you would think that with with a fast pace, you would want the light one to be able to help you, but I don't feel any control when I do that with a light with a light yeah. racket. So this one really serves me perfectly well. No, he's right on point. I feel yeah. the same way. That's why I moved to a heavier racket. Yeah. It's because whenever I had to play a quick shot, especially on the volley, and I was mm -hmm. I wasn't having that power or that speed mm -hmm. from the ball, and I had to create that power. It was kind of difficult with that light racket. So, so uh, that does that and you me. can feel <laughs> it when you're on court with Ali, and yeah. he, when he hits the ball through. Uh, through the back corner, you can feel that power and mm -hmm. that, that speed going to yeah, the back. Yeah, it's all in this, to be honest. Yeah. yeah if I play with a lighter racket, I definitely wouldn't be able to do it. <laughs> yeah. No. Can we just talk a little bit about the strings as well? Sure. So, uh, are you both using Dunlop strings? Yep. yep. Yeah, yep. the same strings? I've been using them for six, seven years now. I don't even know what they're called, which is bad from my side. But I really, really do love them. I mean, yeah. it's just, uh, I've been playing with them, as I said, for six, seven years. I, I can't picture myself playing with any other strings now. It feels and the way it cuts the ball and the way it, it, it hits through the ball, everything about it, I, I can't ask for a better string, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. What tension do you...? Uh, depends. Uh, between 10, 10 and a half and... 11 and a half kilos, so 20, 23, 24. Right, so quite loose. Yeah. That'd be quite loose. I stuff. wouldn't say that's loose. Gregory no. Gauthier used to play with seven, seven and a half. Yeah, Remember yeah. that? Yeah. I, I do 11 and a half as well. And, uh, right. But it was, it was a bit tricky when I moved to the US to college and I converted that to pounds. And whenever I told them the exact same conversion, it didn't, yeah. it was too, way too loose. So yeah. I probably in the US, I would go 25 ish, which is okay. probably 12 or something. Yeah. Or, 20, even 26, yeah, I go in, sometimes. In the UK, a lot of times it's all in pounds. So I know. Like, no, I go 11 yeah. and a half. Like, and to be fair, yeah. I've been doing my strings at, at the same place since I was 10, so I don't even tell them yeah. anymore. Maybe he's changed and I don't know. I yeah. just dropped my rackets off and I pick them up and I love them. Yeah, I mean, personally, I string my racket. <laughs> no myself. way. Yeah, I've got the machine. I don't even it. know how to do it. I don't trust, <laughs> I don't trust anybody <laughs> else. You can't work PDH it's never the same. <laughs> it's never the same. <laughs> so, um, so like one other question that that's quite interesting in terms of like it's Dunlop. So they've they obviously do the classic head shape, right? Uh, and this is the teardrop, which is more of a sort of explosive power. Yeah. Uh, did you try the other models? And sure. I mean, the first racket I used with Dunlop was the Max Fly, so Jonathan Powers racket. So it's right. a long time ago. Yeah. And then I used to play with Lee Beecher's racket, which was the the red one. 
and I played with Greg's racket. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then that's when Remy uh, joined the team. And I was a fan of uh, Rami, so obviously yeah. changed and used his racket. And then Ali came in, and <laughs> yeah, I used yeah. To, I, I never changed. Uh, I've always played with uh, this kind of frame since then. Yeah, yeah same here. My very first dialogue racket when I was twelve, I played with. I don't know. I don't know if you remember it, the yellow one that used you could change the grip from oh, yeah, zero plus, grams to five yeah, grams to yeah. ten grams, and yeah. it was John from Powers racket as well. I used to yeah. love it. And then ever since I changed to a teardrop shape, and I have I've never looked back ever since. And yeah. uh, and that's the beauty about Dunlop, to be honest. They've got all different ranges, and, and they were very cooperative when I came on board. I told them I love to teed drop. I, I love the, the balance to be this way, the weight to be that way. And they're very co they really try to accommodate whatever you like. And if, if, if you're a junior, you're a beginner, you're a professional athlete, or, or you're an amateur, or whoever you may be, you would find all different ranges that you can play with. Yeah. Teardrop, rounded, head light, head, light, head heavy. So it's, it's brilliant to have all this... Uh, all this variety to be honest. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, on the proto I think is basically everybody is playing with a different racket. I know. Then, Look at yeah, Diego, yeah. yourself, myself. Yeah. SJ plays and with this yours. This pretty, yeah. pretty famous then. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> I know why. <laughs> right, so, yeah. so the final thing then for our viewers, <coughs> like in like as quick as you can, why, why should they pick Dunlop? Just because what I said, they, 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 can know, they, they don't need to look any further. They've got all the different variety. They can pick whatever they want, and it looks brilliant to me, at least. Yeah. And, uh, and I think if they look for any type of racket, they will definitely find it. Yeah. I really break rackets. Uh, mm -hmm. So if, you, if you've got a, a quiet temper and you don't get too angry, I think the racket can last for, for a long time, which is, That's I an think, important a, point. an important yeah. point. And then, yeah, consistency. It's always that you know you're going to have a, a good project. Yeah. whatever racket yeah. you, you you choose mm -hmm. excellent right so there you have it so thank you very much for your time yeah. thank today. you um if you're looking for the new revelation pro light and pro it's available now at pdhsports.com <laughs>